Hey, what's up everybody? It's Josh here. I'm here with Coach Marie and of the rest of our coaching team. And we're gonna go over this week's send-off workout. So for this workout, we're gonna have six stations, one exercise per station. You're gonna have 40 seconds to get a certain number of reps done. And then when you're done with those reps, you're gonna recover and rotate to the next station and get ready for that next set to start, which will be the next 40 seconds. So you're sent off every, every 40 seconds here. You ready, Coach? Okay, so over here in the box, we're doing a step up rope slam. So you just float up and over on that box, trying to get as high as you can off that box, using that momentum to get that rope up and slam it down. If you need to take the impact out, you just step side to side, or you can step to the side of that box. You just do rope slams here. So you're going to do five on each leg or ten rope slams total. Nice job, Marie. From there, we're coming over to the wall. We have Coach Matt here. He's getting ready to show us our wall wall slam burpee. So just that gives us up a nice distance from the wall and his feet here so he gets a full extension through those arms. Slams that ball against the wall, kicks back in that burpee, comes back up and gets that ball slam in, that wall ball slam in. Deep breath in. If you need to, you can also do that step back burpee. So one leg at a time coming back up and then slamming that ball. Or you can just do traditional wall ball slams here. I don't know if there's a traditional wall ball slam. It's just the way we do it. Wall slam. There we go, Matt. Now, great job. You're going to do five breaths and you're moving on to the next station. Over here we have Coach Dia demonstrating our sled drag and pull. So, quarter squat position, chest up, shoulders back. Nice fast feet here. She's dragging that sled down to this end of the floor. Once she gets down here, she puts her hands through the handles there of the suspension trainer, grabs those push pulls and takes those nice big steps, pushing that sled back. You're going down and back one time, and then you're moving on to the next station. Over here we have Coach Seth. Now, some of you don't know this, Coach Seth actually never leaves the skiers. They actually <laughs> stick with him the whole time here. It's really hard to drive home, but he makes it happen. So, we're doing 10 strokes on the skier, reaching as high as you can, deep breath in on the way up, sit back onto those heels, push that air out as you're pulling. 10 powerful pulls here, and then you're moving on to the next station. Great job, Seth. From there, we're coming over to our rowers, where we have Coach KJ. She's demonstrating our rower here. So remember, just like with the skier, we're thinking about power, not speed here. Chest up, driving through those heels, squeezing those shoulder blades, pulling that handle right towards your chest here. Deep breath in on the way in. Push that air out. As you drive out, we're doing 10 strokes over here, and then we're moving on to our last station. Great job, KK. From there, we're coming over to our dumbbell overhead presses. We have Coach Frank here. So, just the overhead press though, Frank. So, strict press here, Frank. There we go. So, wall up those abs. Blue squeeze tight, quads are tight. Walling up those abs. Strict presses, pressing as high as you can, then pull those dumbbells back down. Now, if you're getting tired, this is where you'll add that push up or that push press in. So, a little booty bump, using those hips and the legs to get that momentum going to throw that dumbbell up. We're doing five presses over here, and then you're back to where you started. So, that's our send off workout for this week. Great job, everybody. Thanks.